we are visiting the Johnson County Main Reference Branch Library today and we are in the new community makerspace. And so some of the devices that you'll find in the room are open for the community to come in and use to create. So this is really a creation space and you'll find adults and kids in here. This device here is a CNC router and you can see uh, some of the work that's here. Basically you can um, do cutouts and you can set up your work here on the computer and then the router will cut out the work and make very, very cool creations. What you'll see down the way here is we'll take a look at a couple of different options of 3D printers that are available. So there's a stage and then there is a polymer or print spool and then you would put your print job up, you would create and then come over and then link up to some kind of um, device that would then send the job to the printer and then it would print it um, in a three-dimensional shape on the stage. Why are libraries changing is really the big question that people continue to ask and I think the, the real answer, especially in the Shawnee Mission School District, is that kids, every kid in the district has a device in their hand, whether that be an iPad or a MacBook. Um, with with a device in their hand, they're able to gain access to, to read material, to analyze information, really in a second's notice. There, there's not this need to get up and walk to a separate space to be able to do those things. Um, we're not saying those things aren't important though. Kids still have to know how to read and research and decipher information. There's so much information on the internet, it's important for kids to know if information they're getting is correct. And, and really being able to to know what is accurate and, and really a primary resource is still extremely important and kids still need those skills. But they don't need to go to a library necessarily to get those or to a quiet place where it's a study carol to get those things. We really want kids in collaborative conversations and working in teams to, to problem solve. We value absolutely certified teachers, certified librarians, um, all those certifications that come in our schools. However, we do believe in this particular case that it's really more about hiring the right skills and the right fit for the person versus a certification. We see a lot of area schools that come in and out of Science City that are adding maker spaces into their library. There are a lot of districts that are supporting it district-wide or maybe one school here and there that's starting out. The uh, teachers seem to be really taking to it and wanting to integrate this into their curriculum. And I'm going to take this light and then when you connect it to the battery it lights up huh. and then we're going to like cut a hole and put it in here and then like the battery will be underneath so then it will be light up and then I'm going to put it in my paper.